hello guys welcome to my youtube channel it's your boy the challenger kelvin please um today i'm going to teach you how to create your payer account or to create an account with payer so before we write into today's tax please like and subscribe to my channel it really helps a lot so the first thing you want to do is download the app payer as you can see this is the app i have it right here on my phone so you can actually download this app from google play store so once you're done downloading the app you can click on it so right here we have um, this is the app payer so by default it's on login but you only have to log in if you have an account already so in this case we are going to create a new account so you click on sign up so when when you click on sign up they are going to generate their terms and condition you can read all of this if you want to it's always advisable to read so that you know the all the terms and agreements of peer so once you're done reading you can click on next on agree So by default, um, PIA is going to generate your account number with your password, then with your secret code. So what you need to do is um, write down all of this. Though there is an option here that um, save password setting to my device as screenshot. You can check this option as well as you can uncheck it. So if I uncheck it, if I untick this option. Um, this page is just going to disappear without me having all my login details so if I click on this box here by default it is always uh, selected so what is going to happen is that after you have done creating after you've done creating your account after you've done from this page when I click on confirm this page is going to be saved as a photo automatically so that Whenever I want to access my account, if I've forgotten my login details, I can go back to this photo and then view my login details from here. So this is by default um, the way Payer does it. But you can later on change um, all the settings when you've logged into inside your account. So for now, let's just leave everything as it is and then we click on confirm. So when you're done with this page, you can edit everything like your password and this security code so for your account id by default this is your account id you cannot change your account id what you can change is um your password and your secret code so you click on confirm now they are going to ask you to create a pin so make sure you don't forget your pin code so i'm actually going to use my own Gabon. so that is just how to create your payer account it is way more simple and very fast so the next thing you want to do is uh, configure your account in such a way that you're going to make it secure so you click on settings this icon here now you can see this are this is the page for you to configure your account here is this to ed edit your profile then this uh, verification is to verify your email so if i click on edit profile you see it's going here you can assess your account id or account number so by default you cannot change your account number you can only copy it because this is the account number you are going to use to do all your transactions on payer so here it's going to give you all the information the date you created your account so down here you can see contact information we haven't set up any contact information so what you need to do is to go and set up your contact information this would enhance security on your peer account so here you see verifications we need to verify an email address to this account so we click on verification so they are going to 
ask you to choose the type of account you want to create is it a business account is it a personal account um one thing you need to know is that if you if you're creating a business account so you're going to incur a bit of charges because of the high transactions you are going to make but if you are not creating this account for business purpose or if you want to just create it for your own self use then i would advise you to go for the personal account but one thing you should put in mind is that the personal account you are going to have some limitations so here you're going to fill in your personal details your name your last name date of birth your country your address then you can after filling all of this you can submit for review so i think all of this you need to verify your id card or your passport so i'm not actually going to do all of this because i already have my PR account so i was actually doing this for educational purpose now the next thing you want to do is security so you need to edit this security level on your payer account so you click on security you click on edit now on the security page you have authorization you have to set up your email address here you confirm um, the email here it is a confirmation method so that each and every time you want to log into your payer account you need to confirm that you are actually the one logging into your payer account so you can confirm by email you can confirm by sms you can confirm by telegram so by email you confirm it with your email address by sms you are actually confirming with your mobile number so for you to be able to confirm with your mobile number you need to add a mobile number into your pay payer account so i'm actually going to leave everything like this like i said i already have my payer account so i'm doing all of this for educational purpose so the next step you want the next thing you want to do is um your password so this is actually the page where you can edit your password and your pin code so if you click on edit you see they're going to ask you for your current password remember when creating when you were creating your account there was a password being generated automatically to you and then if you go to your gallery now if you've forgotten the password you can go to your gallery and check there is a photo that um, was snapped automatically which contains your password your account id and your security code so if you've forgotten your login details you can go to your phone's gallery and check you'll find the photo inside let me just check and be sure so let's go to my phone gallery now So I go to my file manager. So I go to images. So right here on images you will see um, these are the various images inside your account right here you have pair as you can see it this is this is the, the the photo i was talking about so if i click on it you are going to see um your account details so right here you have your account number and then with a the password so on the page where you need to edit your password should in case you've forgotten your password you can just come back here and check because the password was screenshot and saved automatically so if you've forgotten your password you can this is where you can actually get back your old password for you to be able to edit your password on your PR account so we're going to go back to the PR app so i'm going to actually leave everything like this because like I said, I already have my payer account, so I'm not going to mess things up right here. But you can now from here put the old or the current password 
then you put a new password you're going to repeat the new password then you, you click on send everything should be work perfectly so the next thing you want to edit is your pin so when you click on pin you can actually change your pin so the first thing you need to do is enter your current pin so you enter your current pin for instance this was my current pin then now they're asking you to create a new pin so you can actually modify your pin from here if you don't feel comfortable or if the old pin has been compromised so that is just all about um, creating your peer account so i hope you enjoyed the video i'm going to see you in my next tutorial on how to use the peer app